to be a scene that the sex of their child comes down to a flip of chromosome coin with the equal chance as having a boy or girl, but in reality, the odds aren't even. For every 100 girls born, the world's like. The world gains about 106 baby boys. Currently, the squid sex ratio comes out to roughly 10 million more baby boys than girls born worldwide each year. There are some countries where human stag mating stag odds even higher in favor of boys, but that doesn't explain the fixed odds everywhere else. The, the intrinsic boy-girl ratio is rigged by modern nature. In fact, it's much more rigged than, than birth rates show. Human conception results in about 115 male zygotes. Rather than every 100 female, but there's a rather tragic reason for this big biological male bias on early on. Male fetus, fetuses are more likely, are much more likely to to be to be miscarried or still born than female fetus and Boy that do make it out of the worms suffer more fatal disease, take more mortal risk, and fall prey to more violence than girls. So by the time kids grow up and reach baby making age, the ratio of male to female is just about one to one. But the likelihood of boy that's even making it to birth is also influenced by his mother's living condition during pregnancy. For example, when a massive famine struck China in 1960s, the relative, the relative, like, relative. relative likelihood of having a son suddenly, dro suddenly dropped until the famine ended, and female and fem and male American born to billionaires seems to have higher than average odds of fa father fathering sons. Somehow, female biology suppresses male survival in the warm during tough time and it when times are good. We, we've also seen the same patterns in other mammals. When, when resources are scarce, mothers, ber mothers give birth to fewer male than, no. in, than normal. When resources are plentiful, they give birth to more. The best explanation for we have for this has to do with sex the other kind. From in biological terms, the whole goal of copulation is to reproduce it reproduce to pass on your gene to someone who will pass them on again someday. Female offsprings are almost guaranteed to repre reproduce famine or no famine because male mammals are pretty much always willing to mate. Male, on the other hand, have to compete for mating privileges. A well nurtured hen has a good chance of mating with lot of female and a male we weakened by famine might not score at all. Some male offsprings are 
a bigger risk in in general. At all stages, at all stages, they they are more likely to die, and even if they live, they might not reproduce. But when times are good, males potential to father lots and lots of baby make them a biological risk risk worth take. Thanks thanks to everyone who supports us on Superbowl. Without you, we without you, we literally couldn't to couldn't continue to make this video. If you're not yet a supported supporter of Mini Earth and want to become one. Head o head over superbowl.com slash mini mini earth to make a one time or mo monthly play pledge support and thanks for watching. Oh.